Hey guys, what do you think about a male bio? No comment, why, are you, why are you so rude, sir? Because you're annoying. I've played with women my whole career. Trans women are women too. You guys can go s right off. We're just asking uh, people what they think of Ash Davis, the biological man playing with biological females. Uh, well, I have no objection to it, to be quite honest with you. I'm not speaking to you. If okay. you do not leave, I will call the police and have you charged. Okay, okay, Tommy, call the police. I'm just asking questions. I'm not doing anything. Leave. I am her wife. Her wife. And you need to leave. Does that mean he's a lesbian? That individual has had women carted off the field on a regular basis with his brutal tackling. I would say there could be a problem there because uh, women are not as physically as strong as men, although some of them can be, but mm. typically I would say no. David Menzies for Rebel News here in fabulous Fergus, Ontario. And folks, we are still chasing down the story of that so-called transgendered player, Ash Davis. He's the biological male who is playing for the Fergus women's team and, uh, well, routinely injuring a biological woman uh, on the opposing teams. Now, this is, of course, against world rugby guidelines. So the question arises, why is it even being tolerated? Now, you might remember our first foray here to Victoria Park. That was back on July 22nd to take in a, a game against the Fergus Highlanders versus Burlington. And uh, I got to be honest, I was rattled. No, not by the profanity and the middle fingers and the physical assault I endured that day, but by the indoctrination of the Fergus Highlanders women's team. It seemed that every woman, at least the woman that we're talking to us, was on side in terms of team transanity. Why are you doing this? I'm David Menzies, well, Rebel News. Hi. hi. No, you're not really uh, a part of this. We're having a team chat now. Okay, so. I'm just trying to ask some questions, sure, ma'am. But this is not the appropriate time. For that. Why are so you allowing a biological to... male to compete against female so, players? We're not going to have a conversation with okay. you. Okay. Well, I'll talk to Ash then. <laughs> Ash, do you take joy in injuring female rugby players? Are you lacking the skills to play with male players where you should be? You're a biological male, aren't you? I got you. I got you. Okay. No, we're gonna have right here. Wow. Thank you, sir. No Mr. Ash, are you are you a misogynist? Thank you. Please leave me alone. Hey, watch it. You'll be charged with assault. All lives, lives matter. All lives matter. All lives matter. So, Human rights matter. Human you, don't, you don't have a problem. You can leave now. Yeah. Thank you, sir. No, thank you. Now we followed that up with a, the game the following week, which was the Fergus Highlanders playing the Waterloo team. We really wanted to find out what the opposition team members felt about going up against a biological male. Once again, the results, at least for me, were somewhat shocking. Check out the video evidence. Ladies, what do you think about Mr. Davis injuring biological females? Any thoughts on that? No. How about you, ma'am? Okay, then. It just seems to be an example of misogyny. I would think that biological females would be against misogyny, the hatred of women. Is that not the case? Or do you want to win so badly you will break the rules. You will stack the team with a male player. I have to say to the numerous women you have injured on the pitch, Mr. Ash. Mr. Davis, Ashley. Ash, I think it's Ashley now. Oh, I don't know. Sir, do you have any thoughts that Ash Davis was named the... Up. We're going to have an injury because of this, because of you. Because of impolite questions? Because these guys are not going to be ready for their games. You're in their faces. Can you please leave the premises? No, I'm off the field, sir. It's a public park. The for the safety of all these players that are going to If you cared about safety, you would take that monster off the field. You're entitled to your opinion, sir. Thank you. Now, in fairness to the Waterloo woman, before that game, the president of the Waterloo County Rugby Club, that would be Josh Windsor, sent out an email where he said that if they were not accepting of the transgendered Fergus player, they would be A, fired from the team, and B, if he determined that their comments were hateful, he was gonna phone the Waterloo Regional Police. So as you can see, these women were under tremendous coercion 
to go along with this charade that Ash Davis is a real female. Josh Windsor, you, my friend, are a garden variety misogynist. So what brings us here today, given that the season for Fergus ended earlier this month uh, and ended in quite a fashion as the Niagara Wasps decided to default the game based on safety and sportsmanship reasons. So good to the Niagara Wasps um, uh, Rugby Club for not bending the knee to wokeism and doing the right thing. To me, there is no shame in such a default as that. But today, in about an hour or so, the Fergus Highlanders men's old timers team, they're gonna take the field against an old timers team from Toronto called the Gits. And we just wanted to ask these old timer male rugby players, are they okay with what's going on? Are they okay with a biological male playing on a female team and causing damage to other female rugby players? Um, it'll be very interesting to see if they're gonna take a righteous stance, at least a stance in accordance with world rugby, or are they going to bend the knee to wokeism as well? And we have been tipped off, folks, that Ash Davis, might be appearing in this game. We have no way to confirm this until the game takes place. But can you imagine that? I thought Ash Davis was currently identifying as a female lesbian. And then when the old timer men come to town, he suddenly re-identifies as a old timer male rugby player. I, it's all so confusing. And we'll uh, query uh, the players on both squads and see what they have to say about Transanity, the rugby edition. Well, here comes quite a collection of the Fergus Islander players. Um, let's see if they have something to say or it's a matter of cats got their tongues. What do you feel about a biological male, Ash Davis, playing against biological females? No comment. No, really? Has someone told you not to comment, sir? No. Is this not against world rugby guidelines? I think since 2020, uh, world rugby has said biological males can't compete with biological females. Any comment on that, sir? I already told you, no comment. Okay then, so can you tell me if anyone's told you not to comment? No, I, I, I get the impression rugby must be one of the most masculine, macho sports in the world, and yet everyone here is afraid to call out this farce. What do you think of a biological male playing against biological females? Why are world rugby guidelines being violated, Jim? Hi, sir. What do you think about a male biological player playing with females? I don't want to talk about that. Thanks. No? But that's contrary to world rugby guidelines, isn't it? Why, why is cheating being tolerated in Fergus? Hey, guys, what do you think about a male bio... No comment, why, are you, why are you so rude, sir? you're annoying. I am. I'm just standing up for world rugby guidelines. No, no, no comment. Well, that, no, sir. Correct me if I'm wrong, then. World Rugby says there's, biological... I think, I think there's a car accident downtown you should chase. Oh, really? What intersection? So you have no problem with a male cheater injuring female players. And that goes against World Rugby. No comment. No comment. We have Don't worry. No comment. Oh, good. Has, has someone told you not to comment? No, oh, common sense. Common sense? Isn't that common sense to separate male and female players? That's, that's in every sport aside from... Equestrian and auto racing, isn't it? <laughs> hey, sir, how you doing? Where's... I, I, I saw you on YouTube. I don't want to talk to you. Oh, okay, but I, why I, is I, Fergus I, violating World Rugby I, guidelines? Your son is here, and I don't want to do this with you. I saw what you're doing. I understand what you're doing, and I don't want to. Do it. What does an eight-year-old son have to do? I'm standing up for women's rights. Hi, sir. Do you have an opinion about Ash Davis playing against female players and injuring them? I like your suit. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I like your uniform. Thank you, sir. So, what do you say about the question? 
Hi, sir. What do you think about Ash Davis, a biological male, playing with females? Pardon me? Oh, as the game started? Stay off the field. You know what? That would be my message to Ash Davis. Hey, ladies, how you doing? Good. We're just asking people what they think of Ash Davis, a man playing for the Highland, uh, the Highlanders women's team and injuring real women in the process. Is that a concern for you? Oh, we don't know anything. About oh, is that right? But that is the story. It's a male violating world go uh, rugby guidelines by playing with females. Should that be stopped? Sorry, I don't know anything no? about what's going on there. Yeah. No. That goes against world rugby guidelines, does it not? No idea. Oh, really? no idea. I've played with women my whole career. Trans women or women too. You guys can go s right off. Oh, that's not very ladylike, sir. Thank you. I'm not a lady. Well, these days you can, these days you can't tell. So you're so in other words, you're a cheater as well, just like Ash Davis. Yep. That's me. I'm a cheater. Wow. Hey, so look, right wing psychos. <laughs> what makes me a right wing psycho? So oh, is anywhere in the bleachers or anything? Is, fine. is World Rugby comprised of white right wing psycho, sir? Because that's their rule. Right wing psychos. Wow. We're just asking people what they think of uh, Ash Davis. No. I'm here to play rugby, not to talk to you. Well, isn't that the point, though, sir? This is against World Rugby guidelines having a male compete with biological females. No. I thought rugby was a very macho sport, but everyone's pleading the fifth on this. We're just asking uh, people what they think of Ash Davis, the biological man playing with biological females. Uh, well, I have no objection to it, to be quite honest with you. Oh, is that right? Why does World Rugby have an objection to it? That's against international guidelines since 2020 that men can't play with females. Well, he's in transition, so... He is? Yes. But we've seen him. He's not even remotely female-like. He's got muscles, an Adam's apple, male pattern baldness is setting in, for goodness sake. Well, all we're doing is going by the rules that Rugby Canada and Rugby Ontario have set down. And why are they violating World Rugby Guidelines? You'll have to ask them. I have no Oh, idea. they won't comment, sir. <laughs> That's the well, thing. Then, like I said, I have no comments past that then. I've seen uh, girls playing soccer with guys here, so it looks like the direction of uh, the way it's going, but the rules are rules and uh, they should be abided by. Sir, what about this as a concept? Why not have a male division, a female division, and an open division? So you're a trans man, a trans woman, you're on steroids, whatever. You play in that division, anything goes. Wouldn't that be the solution to the problem? Well, it wouldn't hurt. Okay. Well, we're, we have a bit of a meeting of the minds. I'm just concerned about real biological women, sir, that are being carted off the field injured by this guy. Well, but you'd have to look at a little bit more than that because apparently there are other clubs that are using people in the same same conditions. So. Oh, I didn't know that. Do well, you know I, the names of these clubs? Nope. I would say there could be a problem there because uh, women are not as physically as strong as men, although some of them can be, but mm. typically I would say no. You, you don't care about biological females being injured by this man? What about yourself, ma'am? Well, it looks like a bit of a shimazo coming out of the whole thing and uh, she'd just keep it girls with girls, boys with boys and um, if a girl's good enough to play with the guy's power to her, but uh, the rules have to change in order to accommodate that, I think. We don't yes. want to talk to you. Oh, no. I'm not talking to you. I'm no. talking to Ash. I heard yes. you're going to suit up today. Is that true, no. Ash? Please leave us alone. I'm not speaking to you. If okay. you do not leave, I will call the police and have you charged. Okay, okay, Tommy, call the police. I'm just asking questions. I'm not doing anything. Leave. Huh? Please who, leave. Who are you again? I am her wife. Her wife. And you need to leave. Does that mean he's a lesbian? Please leave. Huh? Well, I'm just doing... Just, just... You have done nothing but harass us. Please leave. Just... Harass you? This man is injuring biological females. Please leave. Pardon me? Just please leave. Why are you doing this, That's Ash? we're asking, sir. He was, sir? Uh, he was named the hardest not... hitter last year on the no, men's team. No. Yes, do he was. Not, do not follow. You are being asked to leave. Okay, and I'm declining that. Thank you. No, and I'm declining for you to follow and harass Ash. You're asking me to follow and harass? No, I'm asking you to stop. Okay, then. All right. Stop following us. Why can't he speak for himself, ma'am? 
She already told you she doesn't want to talk to you. That doesn't look like a she. That's of your opinion. Ash, why are you doing this? Why are you playing with biological females and injuring them? No, can't you speak for yourself, Ash? And isn't your real name Tommy, by any chance? Who are you, ma'am? Ash, why are you violating world rugby guidelines? Wow, is this town so indoctrinated, so woke, that you agree with this? You know, folks, you have to wonder, who do you have more contempt for? Someone who might be mentally unhinged or the people around him, the powers that be, that are accommodating this man pretending to be a woman and injuring real biological women in the first place. It, 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 it's just incredible. Where are the feminists, I ask you? So, Ash, are you suiting up for the men's team today? That's what we heard. Well, folks, I think I know who Ash Davis was calling, namely the Ontario Provincial Police, because if you look over yonder, there is not one, not two, but three OPP SUVs. Fergus must be, I don't know, a, a totally crime-free municipality that they would send three SUVs with police officers in it to... Um, well, I don't know what they're going to say. Well, stick around to see what they have to say, because as far as I can, I'm, I'm concerned, we're on a public field. We're asking questions. Uh, in fact, Ash Davis walked away. We didn't even follow him. We just want to watch a little rugby. We want to see the men, I think they're men, uh, play this great game. So uh, we'll just uh, stay put and see what the uh, boys in blue have to say. My name is David Menzies. I'm with Rebel News. I'm, we're just practicing journalism yeah. uh, regarding this story that is now viral on Ash Davis, the biological male who is playing on a woman's team okay. and routinely injuring biological females. Okay. All right, well, That's we'll it. get back to you, okay? Oh, sure. Right. Okay. Thanks, sir. Have a good day, sir. Well, look at that, folks. Uh, they, the police officers, three of them, uh, spent about 10 minutes taking statements from Ash's wife, or is it his husband? I, I'm so confused. I know he's identifying as a male lesbian, but maybe he's fluid and so is she. But the point of the matter is we overheard snippets of the conversation and the police were saying, no, there isn't criminal harassment. That's a high benchmark. Uh, no, the Trespass to Property Act doesn't apply, and nor should it. We are in a public field, and I guess we don't have a law yet against, oh, I don't know, insensitive questions. Uh, but give Blackface uh, some time, folks. I'm sure he'll draft a bill to outlaw that in the months ahead. Yeah. So you're telling me I have to sit here for the rest of the time I'm supposed to enjoy myself watching all of you. Cameras and microphones. This thing can yell questions about my genitalia. Walk with me. We're finding here like the legalities and everything. This is okay. the, the baseline is we're gonna make sure that everyone's safe. And okay. We also want to be following the law as well. I understand that you guys are also doing um regarding the press. Yeah. You know, obviously I can't make any official statements sure. or anything like that. It's not my place to say that. We're just here to make sure that everyone's safe. Um and things go smoothly. And, and, and officer, you nailed it on the head. That is the reason for these series of stories. World Rugby, the international governing body for this sport, since 2020 has said that biological males cannot compete with biological females. The reason, safety. There's biological differences between men and women. That individual has had women carted off the field on a regular basis with his brutal tackling. The, who cares what I think? This is international rugby, world rugby saying this is offside and yet 
the authorities are turning a blind eye to this. I don't know, in the name of wokeness, political correctness. It's insane. Well, again, I've got no comment. Okay. okay. Um, right. I'm just focusing, just going to call to call. Okay. Sure. Um, there's a lot of things above me. And I can't make any kind of official statements. No. And sir, I'm not trying to give you a hard time, but can I ask you this? What were their complaints? Because we're just practicing journalism in a public field. Well, that's where we're trying to look at. There's, um, you guys are in a public field, that's yeah. correct. And we're looking at regarding um, if you're on the field or not, and we're looking at specific things. So um, I'm not here to stop you Okay. in any way. We're just Thank looking you. at certain thresholds within the law that constrain with us being here. We want to make sure that everyone's safe. Um, people can express their rights. Um, just at the baseline there. Well, folks, as per usual, don't expect the mainstream media to touch a subject like this, a biological male playing and injuring biological females in rugby. They either consider this topic two-third rail to touch, or they agree with this kind of transanity. That's why you depend on Rebel News to tell you the other side of the story. But guess what, folks? We do need your help. We don't get a nickel's worth of government funding, nor would we accept it if offered. Please go to rebelfieldreports.com. That's rebelfieldreports.com. And if you can make a donation, that would be greatly appreciated.